what's up guys so we are eight weeks and i don't know a few days out from the show november 4th um still contemplating doing both shows for the october 21st show as well for central states um right now i uh, got the kids in bed and just prepping some food so you guys can see kind of like what i'm eating uh, chicken, it's about five and a half pounds, just got done cooking it, white potato, a bunch of fake butter, um, some rice, and I got more rice in there, so, that's what's going on with that, let's see if I can set this up, <clears throat> alright, so, anyways, Gonna cut this chicken and talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, recently, I've added in um, Matt Porter's uh, uh, basal burn and also his cortisol. Not sure if I talked about it in one of my videos before this, but um, it's been a week now that I've been using it or so. And I really do think the cortisol might have been one of my answers. Um, just been getting really fatigued lately. Um, signs of maybe a little bit overtraining. Um, my body just honestly wants more food. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna right now give it more food. Um, getting leaner, and I am still putting on mass. So or at least maintaining, I'm probably still putting out a little bit of mass. Um, so, things are heading in the right, right direction. Um, you notice on a couple of my thumbnails, I posted my nine week out pictures. Um, I'm not sure why I did that, because <laughs> I wasn't gonna post any progress photos or anything like that at all, but I figured if I can get a couple more people to watch and click, because there's a guy that looks like he's in somewhat okay shape, be cool it gets more people to watch the videos or um, maybe give you some feedback like what do you guys want to see here <clears throat> all that good stuff so i'm trying to talk a little quieter right now because like i said i got the kids in bed um but right now i'm just waiting out my chicken um what i'm eating right now is i actually never figured out the macros my coach just everything's laid out by him my food has not changed at all since i started prep literally nothing has changed um, still eating a pretty decent amount of carbs every single day, um, but they're all right around my workout. Um, so I'm just weighing out eight ounces, uh, cooked weight of chicken. It's actually a lot of food. When I first started doing this or eating this food, it actually was a lot of food to eat, but now that I'm so hungry, <laughs> it's not enough food to eat. So we got a chicken meal ready. This is just one cup of cooked rice um and then eight ounces of chicken so i don't always prep my meals like this i'm not always this efficient but um i got a little more chicken than i used to getting actually extra pound i usually get four pounds um and i figured I might as well just cook it all up like i always do um i had more room in the grill um when i was cooking the four pounds so i figured i don't know why i'm not cooking more at one time um, I didn't get the fat off this one, so I didn't pull this off. So, we cooked up, like I said, about five and a half pounds of chicken this time. And, might as well get all the meals ready to go. So, um, pre-workout, I have, um, well, pre-pre-workout, <laughs> I have, um, I have my rice, and I have my chicken, and then my pre-workout meal is white potato, which is 8 ounces as well, um, cooked, weight, um, and then post-workout, depending on what body part I'm training, I'm getting either a cup or a cup and a half of white rice. Now my intra, I'm not really going to go over much, um, I don't want to give away everything. But in my intro, there is carbs and some other things that I've, that I've talked about in other videos, actually, that I use. So, um, if you 
want to scroll through my other videos, you'll know exactly what I'm what I'm taking. Nothing, nothing real secret or fancy. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm getting like I said a lot of carbs around my workouts, but it doesn't fix the fact that I'm still really really hungry. I haven't had too many cravings at all, really. Um, the only thing I really miss right now um, is my Starbucks, which I have or was having every morning. I usually have it every single morning. Had it every single morning for forever. So, years, the same drink every morning. So, even my last prep, I had it every morning. So, definitely missing that right now. Um, and my wife still gets her coffee in the morning, so I go get her coffee. I don't get my coffee. So that kind of stinks. <clears throat> but as of right now, <clears throat> energy is a little better now. I've added in the cortisol. I, I really do truly think it is that. Um, there's nothing else that I've changed, <laughs> and my body wouldn't just all of a sudden adjust. So, like that. So, I really do think it's cortisol. Um, I wasn't expecting a lot when I purchased the two products. I've already got his pre-workout, which is probably by far the best pump pump formula and pump pre-workout that I've ever used. Um, <clears throat> it's worth the price tag. Um, I wasn't expecting a lot. I was expecting like maybe a 1% to 5% difference. Um, but it's been more than that for the cortisol, for the, for the, um, for the vaso burn. Um, I noticed a little bit of tightening so far, but nothing too drastic. Um, it's hard to say because I'm still dieting, obviously, and I'm doing cardio. Um, so it's hard to say if it's, if I'm getting leaner in those areas, my glutes and my hamstrings, um, from dieting and cardio. Or if it's a combination of both. But in my opinion, <clears throat> um, I was only expecting maybe a 1%, 1 to 3% difference in my physique by adding that in. So, but I did get it because I want to be at my best. I want to know what my best looks like right now at this weight. And the only way of doing that is to make sure you do everything possible to come in at your best. Um, <clears throat> so, there's always enough prep for a show. If you're not going to do everything you can to come in at your best, because you're going to wonder what if, or if that product actually even does anything. So, you just edit it in. <clears throat> but, that's pretty much where I'm sitting right now. A um, little soreness in my knees. I'm squatting, probably because I'm so lean right now. Um, other than that, though, I feel pretty good. Health-wise, lung-wise, I feel good. Um, I wasn't feeling good for a couple weeks, but um, I'm not sure if I was just getting, I was catching something or getting over something or whatever it was, but I'm also on Kasten as well, so I always feel a lot better when I'm on Kasten. Um, my cardio is good. Um, like I said before, when I started the prep, that I truly believe the cardio is going to be a key factor of me. Um, being able to make it all the way until the end of prep without getting sick because it is strengthening my lungs um, just as much as um, intense weight training would or if not more because it is directly impacting the lungs. So other than that, I feel really good. I feel strong. Um, or my strength is back. It's coming back, it seems. We'll see about on Wednesday when I hit back. We'll see how my strength is. Today I have chest. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, real quick, um, my split right now is, because people were asking, is I have legs on Monday, on Tuesday I have, uh, I have chest, um, and triceps, Wednesday I have back and biceps, Thursday I have arms, it's sort of a rest day so I don't go really hard on my arms. Thursday, I have legs. I'm oh, sorry. Thursday, or Thursday's arms. Friday, I have legs again. Um, hamstring focused. But I still do hit quads. And then Saturday, I have back again. And Sunday is completely off. 
and I get no carbs. So it kind of resets everything, and by the last meal on Sunday, I'm ready for Monday to come, even though it's legs, <laughs> because I'm so hungry and I just want some carbs. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, leave them below. And uh, if you think anybody else is going to benefit from watching my videos, um, anybody else with CF um, and needs a little motivation, hopefully I can provide that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep giving you guys videos uh, as long as people keep watching them. And um, just give me your feedback and tell me what else you want to see. All right, guys.